So in the previous video, we learned about how to uh, perform the active scan using the OWASP app. And, and just to give you some context, ZAP is the open source free proxy tool, uh, similar to Burp. Uh, but of course, uh, ZAP is totally free. You can use the scanner and everything uh, like, you know, it's an open source tool. So I, I use it uh, for my application testing. And I, I also got some questions around how do we configure the form authentication using the OWASP app. Uh, I have shown, uh, shown the same thing uh, using the burp. I have linked, the. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, uh, check out the description, uh, it's in there. And today and the last, I think in the last session, we also discussed about how to perform the scan. So this time we're gonna deep dive and see, actually see how to do the form authentication, right? Okay, so this is the Zap, and I'm using version 2.1.2.10.0. Uh, so I'm, I'm like, if you're using the same or probably newer version, uh, the steps should be familiar with you as well. So first off, what we want to do is uh, we want to find a website which we want to scan. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna open up the browser using the uh, like you know uh, in inbuilt Zap browser. And I'll navigate to the demo.testfire.net, which is a, a pre-built vulnerable application. And uh, what we will see is uh, here, uh, like, you know, on the background, Zap is also uh, recording all the traffic. Uh, this is uh, the hood, which is a new feature in the uh, burp, uh, sorry, Zap proxy. Uh, I think we will discuss this. This is really, really cool feature and I like it like it a lot and i'm i'm hoping the burp will also have this feature sometime in future but we will deep dive into this feature into into the future video so i'm just going to ignore it and let's go to the sign in page and uh, let's do username password admin admin uh, we'll we'll just browse a couple of pages and then uh, we'll sign off all right so this is uh, easy right uh, we did that and now usually I prefer to uh, spider the application uh, before I perform the scan. So that way uh, uh, application or the proxy has all the pages that they need to scan. It needs to scan rather than like you know, spidering by itself. So uh, first off, uh, we need to do is we need to find the page uh, which does the login or, or authentication. In, in the demo test fire case, this is the page. So first off, what you want to do is you want to right click and then create a new context. Now context in the OWASP Zap is the grouping of the URLs or the grouping of the pages which you want to scan or, or whatever the like you know attack or whatever you want to do. You need to group it in the context. So first off, uh, just to make sure uh, we have we can identify this, I'm going to rename this and put it as a test fire login. Right. So now in the context, we have this uh, like, you know, uh, login URL. Uh, we have not excluded anything. Uh, the uh, most thing we want to, uh, of course, configure is here in the authentication instead of manual authentication. Uh, of course, it also has all the other options like HTTP and TLM script based, JSON based. But we are interested in the form based. And here we need to select the form uh, which performs the login. So I'm going to select this form and uh, select here and then uh, what we want to do is we want to go here and add a username or password let me bring this window here so uh, our username is admin and password is admin so i'm going to add it here um, enable of course it's enable i haven't disabled it so i'll go back to the authentication i'll select the password as a password now uh, this is very important so uh, this is how you identify or zap will identify whether the session is logged in or not now there are several ways you can do this uh, one way i'm going to show you is uh, by doing this so uh, you go to the sign in page uh, you go to the page source and then online so whenever in the response zap finds this uh, link to the login page, it's it's gonna assume that this uh, the session is logged out, and it will try to uh, like you know populate the username and password which we gave uh, in the form and get back to the login page. So this is the easier way to do it, right? 
uh, what is the other way so uh, actually to sh I'll show you that in, in a second so here we have populated the users uh, we also have a forced user which is obviously we have only one user I'll also explain you what is forced user session management we are the site is using cookie so we don't need to uh, make any changes here uh, we are not worried about the authorization we only have one credentials custom pages alert filters uh, okay all good now so the other option uh, uh, which i think uh, we should also be like you know uh, you can also do uh, to identify or or help uh, zap identify the login state or logout state is this so for example let's say we did admin admin and we logged in right and this is the page now if i'm going to uh, turn the intercept on and uh, let's say sorry here and let's say if i hit the go button right uh, this is the hood okay but anyway yeah we can we can see here so as you can see the request uh, we have list accounts and suppose uh, this cookie uh, j session id right is not provided then of course the session is uh, assumed to be logged out now if we continue right so let's see what the response is actually i should have uh, yeah uh, let me try this so i came back but i wanted to show something else uh okay so let me delete this cookie and let's hit on the step so if you see in the response we we saw this one 302 uh found and the location is uh bank main.gsp right uh this is after we are logging in so now uh, let's say we are logged in again i am uh, turning the intercept on and uh, let's say checking account now uh, observe the response what we're gonna get so hit the step button now the location is login.jsp what you can also do is whenever Zeph finds this uh, particular uh, response header you can ask Zeph to uh, consider uh, trying to re-login so uh, how you can do is uh, Oh, wait uh, test fire oh that's all in context okay so flag this context as test fire login and then you can also replace uh, this one with the string that uh, we just copied like from the header so that's another way so depending on uh, which side you are scanning uh, you can do uh, several things uh, help zap identify and we'll also see uh, how do we make sure the zap is able to log in or not the other thing you definitely want to do is uh, this is force force user mode and uh, you enable this one so that will allow uh, zap to perform the login so what i'm going to also do is I'm, I'm also going to include this in the context right because we want to scan the entire site and i'll also flag this test file login here which is everything seems to be fine okay so let's do this uh, let's start the scan now so you click here go to the active scan here you uh, select the test file login context which we had created and here you select the uh, username and password uh, which was admin admin and then of course uh, if you want you can create your own policy uh, we'll just work with the default policy uh, here you don't need to do much changes uh, for the simple scan and you start the scan now here you will see all the traffic and here you will see the message if the authentication was successful or not i'm going to pause the video until we finish up the scan and then i'll resume to discuss the results all right so scan is almost complete uh, okay it's completed now here you can see uh, the list of uh, findings and uh, uh, you can see the details here like you can see the re request response right uh, and and the highlighted portion why zap thought this is a finding so that that way uh, he, he, this is how you can configure the basic form authentication and uh, I, of course like i like this uh, burp as a scanner uh, but then uh, zap is not bad uh, especially it's an open source and and you can and the, it has a lot of features especially good feature that i want to discuss with you guys is about the hud uh, hood feature which is really really cool feature and 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 i really wish burf can uh, provide the same feature because it's it really simplifies 
like you know the attackers or pen testers uh, life so we'll discuss it next time uh, but that's that's it for now and uh, uh, yeah let me know if you have any question comments and please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and i'll, I'll see you guys next week thank you